Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make buttons in Adobe Flash and make them sort of do stuff whenever you click them. So we'll just go to create new action script 3.0 and then we'll go ahead and straight away get into it. We'll go to fit in window and then we'll go to insert new symbol and then we'll go to type and button. You want to make sure that it's set to button as this will keep it so it is a button as you would expect. So we'll just name it button and hit OK. And now you can see that it's opened the button in its own sort of window. So right now you're actually going to be editing the window, the button, sorry. So if you go to the timeline, you can see you've got these four categories right here on the keyframes. So you've got up, which is what the button will look like when your cursor is not on it. So just whenever, say, if my cursor is here and the button might be over here. Over is when your cursor is over it. And down is when you click it and hit. I'm not exactly sure as when I've been testing out the buttons, I haven't been able to actually figure out what that is as I haven't even seen it at all. Um, so if you know what that is, just tell me in the comments, that'd be much appreciated. So now we're just going to grab the rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle out. So this is just going to be the button and we'll make sure the fill is set to black as that's what I want it to be. So now if we just select these three keyframes here, we'll go to insert keyframe. And then over we'll go to insert keyframe and down we'll go to insert keyframe. Just so that they're, they're all own individual keyframes, um, but they were able to start from where we had in the first one. So now the button won't actually move um, when it's changing, um, but we can just change the color. So in over we'll just click it and we'll set it to be a slightly lighter color. Same with down, we'll make it slightly even lighter. And then hit. Uh, what I'm just going to do is just set it to a nice bright green so we'll know if we see the hit. So now that we've got that, what we can do is just hit scene one and then you'll see that the button disappears. So now we're actually editing the scene. Um, you can see in your library window, you've actually got button here. If you can't see it, just make sure you're clicking the right tab up here. Um, but you should automatically go to the right tab. So now we'll just drag in the button and you can see that it's very massive. So if we just right click it, go to free transform and then I'm just going to hold shift as I transform it down and then that'll scale it proportionally. So now that we've got it here, if we go hit control enter, this is going to open an SWF movie preview and you can see that when we're hovering over it, it is now that new color and it also automatically opens up that clicking sort of cursor. So then if we click it, we can see we've got that light, lighter gray. Um, and you can see that there is no green color whatsoever. So now what we're going to do is make this button actually do something when you click it. So if we just click the button and then we'll go to our code snippets window. If you don't have it, just window and code snippets. Um, but I've just got it right here. And then you'll see all these different folders. And what these are is they are um, preset like pieces of code um, that you can easily put into your actions, which is just where all your codes are um, for things to do stuff. So if we open up actions and then what we're going to do is just go um, click to hide an object. So we've still got the button selected and we'll just double click click to hide an object. The selected symbol requires an instance name. So that's just because we haven't actually made this button an instance name. You can see right here it hasn't actually got name. So we'll just call it button underscore one. And now you can see that it's opened up your code. So this is where all, you'll put all of your coding. Um, so obviously you can do your own custom code. They're just um, preset ones over here that are quite helpful to have. You can even set your own code snippets if you just go create new code snippet. Um, but yeah. So now what we can see is we've got this sort of text. You can see it's grayed out and this is because it's got that um, slash and asterisk. So this means it's not actually part of the code. It's just a piece of text just telling you what to do. So you can say clicking on the specified symbol instance hides it. Use this code for objects that are currently visible. So you can see that it's going to be making um, button underscore one visible equals false. So it's going to be making it invisible. So I'll just quickly go through these lines for what they are. So button underscore one dot add event listener. So that's just adding um, an event listener, which is sort of just like what it does when something happens. Um, so a mouse event dot click is just when it's um, clicked. And then F1 underscore click dot to hide. That's just creating a new function that's called that. So now you can see when you run the function, um, well, when this function actually happens, I should say, um, then it'll make the button invisible. 
So button underscore one is just the name of that button. Um, so we can change this to whatever we want and we will. Um, we're just going to call it congratulations.visible equals true. So what we're going to do is then make some text that is going to be called congratulations. Um, and then we'll make that visible when it's clicked. So we'll just go ahead and close that. And now we'll make that um, symbol. So we'll go to insert new symbol and we'll go call it congratulations. And then we'll just call it movie click and just hit OK. And then we'll open it up um, and we're going to create some text that just says congratulations. You clicked the button. I know it's very exciting stuff. You're able to click a button and then it opens up some text that is very excited for you. So now we'll just go ahead and we can see um, that it's called congratulations because we named it that. So then we'll go to scene one and then if we just drag in the congratulations and then we'll right click go free transform and just scale it down a little bit. So then we can see if we hit control enter um, this text is already there. So now if we click the button it's not actually going to do anything because the, but the uh, text is already there. So we'll just close that and then what we're going to do is go to window and then actions. This is just where all the coding was. Um, if it doesn't open to here just make sure you go to actions frame one. And then congratulations.visible equals true. So it's making that visible. However, if it's already visible, which it is, um, then it's obviously not going to be doing anything. So what we need to add is we'll just um, write this ourselves. We'll just go congratulations. Oh, congratulations.visible equals false. And then we'll just add the semicolon. So if you've ever done co coding, you'll know that semicolons are important. Um, sometimes it works without the semicolons. However, you just put it there just to be safe. So if we look at it, we've got uh, visible equals false. This is going to be at the very start of opening it up. So it's going to be making it invisible because it's not visible. So you can see visible equals false. It's not going to be visible. So we'll just close that and then we'll just hit control enter. And what we'll see is, well, the text is already there. So we'll just close that. And this is the reason because the instance name has, actually hasn't been set. So sometimes it's a bit confusing because it'll say congratulations but you need to make sure that it's called that because when we're looking at it, we're actually looking inside of it. So if we just open it up, you can see you can't actually name it. So it looks like it's been called congratulations, but you need to name the instance as well. So now we'll just call it congratulations. And now if we hit control enter, it will be um, invisible. So now if we hover over it, we've still got the right stuff. Um, you can see nothing's happening when I'm hovering over congratulations, even though it's actually there. Then if we click it, it's, it's visible. So now you've just made your own interactable button. Um, and so with this button, you can do anything you want or whatsoever. So you can put any sort of coding in here that you want to do. Um, whenever it's clicked, you can also add timers. So the stuff goes invisible after it's clicked, um, after a specific time. Um, if you're changing the button um, in here, you can uh, make it so it moves or something. Or you can have put text on the movie clip as well, on the button, sorry. Um, and you can do anything you want. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you're able to do some crazy stuff with your buttons now. Um, and I will see you in the next one.